Hi everyone! Today's tutorial will be on this crochet bow bag, which is derived from the first crochet cloud bag tutorial that I made. This is a very simple tutorial, great for beginners, and the strap length is adjustable because we're just tying them together. So these are the supplies you'll be needing. I used the Burnout Blanket Super Bulky Size 6. I'm showing you the tag here so you know exactly which one to get. I only used about half of this yarn, so about 150 grams, and I used the color Country Blue. You can use any yarn as long as it's Super Bulky Size 6. Then you'll need scissors, a darning needle, and a 6.5 millimeter hook. I also use these magnetic clasps for the bag, but if you don't have one, that's okay, you can just skip this step. So we're gonna start on the base of the bag and we're gonna make a slip knot. For those who don't know how to make one, please follow the way that I'm doing it. Using my left hand, I twist it like so, and using my right hand, I pull up a knot like this. Then you're just going to stick your hook into the middle and adjust it so that you can make it smaller. Next, you're going to make 30 chains. To make a chain, you yarn over and pull it through the loop that is already in your hook. So yarn over, pull through, and you're going to do this 30 times. Make sure to count. At the end, this is what you'll have. This is 30 chains. Now for the first row, we're going to do half double crochets up to the end of the chain. How you do a half double crochet is you yarn over, go to the next stitch, push your hook through, yarn over again, pull it out, and you will have three loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all three. Once again, you yarn over, go through the next stitch, push your hook through, yarn over, pull them out, and now you have three loops, yarn over, and pull through all three of the loops. So we're going to be using half double crochets for the entire bag, basically, apart from uh, chains and slip stitches. So it's going to be a great way for you to practice this stitch. So now I'm nearing the end of the chain. This is how it's supposed to look. I think I'm on my second last chain. So we yarn over and I'll do one last half double crochet. Now for this last chain, we're going to do three half double crochets inside it. So make sure to fit three of them just in that single chain. Now as you are doing that, you will be turning your work over so that you can work on the other side of the initial chain that you made, like so. So now continuing on this side, we're just going to do a half double crochet on the next stitch, which is about there. What I'm doing is I'm that tail that you see, I'm just feeding it into all of my stitches so that it doesn't get in the way later. So all I'm doing is half double crochets until the end of this row. And then at the very end, we're just going to join them together. Okay, so once I get to the end of that chain, we're going to do our one last half double crochet right over there. And then we're going to connect these two ends. So we're going to do a slip stitch on the very first half double crochet that we've ever made. So, insert your hook. This is a slip stitch. Insert your hook, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through that stitch, and then the stitch that was already on your hook. And then you chain one. And that's what you're going to do at the end of every row in order to join the two ends. So, for the next row, we're going to go all around this base. This is the base of the bag. And then once we get to the end, we're going to join again, which is a slip stitch and chain. So we're going to do a half double crochet and then we're going to keep doing half double crochets all the way around this base. Every row should have about 58 to 61 stitches. No need to be so strict on it, but I had 58, so I'm going to continue to make 58 for every single row that I make. Okay, so I've finished my second row and it's starting to look more like a boat now because we are building from the bottom up. So this is me at the very end of my row. I'm going to do my joining stitch, which is my slip stitch, which is like this. And then I'm going to do a chain one. So notice I'm not turning or anything. I'm just going um, in a circle 
and I'm just gonna keep making rows and rows of these 58 half double crochets and making sure to slipstitch and chain each time I finish a row. This is the part that takes the longest because we are building up the body of the bag and then everything else should be much faster. So you'll notice more and more that the bag will start to take its shape and that is a very good sign that you're doing it properly. So continue doing these rows until you get to about 6 inches in height, just going up like this. And I did about 10 rows in total. So this is what it should look like once you're done. I did a total of 10 rows and I'm going to use my measuring tape to show you that this is exactly 6 inches. So, I mean, if it takes you 11, 12 rows to get to 6 inches, that's perfectly fine. I care more about um, the actual measurement of the bag. So now let's do the last row of the body together. So we're going to start with 3 half double crochets. And then we're going to do a decrease on these next two stitches. To do that, you yarn over, you push your hook into the next stitch, yarn over again. Now you have three loops, but you're going to take your hook and go into the next stitch, yarn over again, and now you'll have four loops in your hook. And then you yarn over and go through all four loops. So what you just did is a decrease, you put two stitches and made it into one stitch. And then we're going to continue with the three half double crochets. After the three half double crochets, we'll do another decrease. So we're going to continue this pattern throughout the rest of this row. And what this is going to do is it's going to center your bag a little bit so that the opening is less wide than the body. And I guess it keeps things from falling out too quickly. This is especially important for those who are not making the magnetic clasps for the bag because there's no way to keep your things from falling out. Okay, so we're now at the end of the row. I'm just going to do my joining, which is a slip stitch and then a chain one. And then we're going to head into the straps. So as I'm holding my bag properly like this, I noticed that my ends or my joining ends are not exactly centered on the side of the bag. So what I'm going to do before I start my straps is I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch over and that gives us a better starting point for the straps. So I'm going to do a half double crochet onto the next stitch, another half double crochet, and then another half double crochet. That gives us three half double crochets and that's going to be the width of all of our straps. I'm going to chain one, turn my work around, and that way we're going to start building height for our straps. I'm going to do three half double crochets on top of the ones that I just did. And then I'm going to chain one, turn my work again, and then I'm just going to do another three half double crochets. So you can already tell what the pattern is. I'm just going to do three half double crochets, chain one, turn my work, and then three half double crochets again. And you're going to do this for 55 rows or a total of 30 inches. Once you finish the strap, this is what it should look like. And this is going to be 30 inches. I'm going to measure it with my tape right here. Yes, so exactly 30 inches. I'm just going to cut my tail and then weave in any ends that I have. So now we're going to start on the next handle. We're going to begin with a slip knot and then we're going to find the opposite side of the bag. This doesn't have to be exact either, I just eyeball this most of the time. But I just make sure to start where there's enough space for three half double crochets. 
and I determined it to be at this spot right over here. So we're going to take our crochet hook, insert it into that stitch, take our slip knot, and then we're going to pull that slip knot into that stitch. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to begin my half double crochets. The first one goes to the stitch right next to my chain. That's number one, and then number two, and then number three. And I'm just going to do a chain, and then I turn my work around. So this is going to be the exact same thing that we did on the previous strap, which is 55 rows and 30 inches total. The reason the straps are so long is so that we're able to make a better ribbon or a bow, I guess. And it gives you a chance to adjust your strap length as needed, depending on how you want to wear your bag. Okay, so as you can see, I've weaved in my ends and tucked in all the straps into the bag so that we can have an easier time doing the next step, which is the bag flaps with the metal clasps. Now, obviously, if you do not have the metal clasps or if you just don't want to have a bag flap at all, then feel free to skip this step. So right now, my bag is faced with the back side in front of me. And I'm trying to find the center for where I can place 12 stitches of half double crochets because that is how long our bag flap is going to be. So this is where my starting point is going to be, which is about 4 or 5 stitches from the right side. I'm going to make a slip knot and insert it into that stitch, chain 1, and then I'm going to make 12 half double crochets. Once you're done the first row, you can check to make sure that it's centered properly. You're going to chain one and then you're going to turn your work. This is similar to how we did the straps. And then you're just going to do 12 half double crochets again. And then you're going to continue to do this pattern of 12 half double crochets, chaining one and then turning until you have a total of 10 rows. Once that's done, this is how it should look like. And it should look pretty long because we still have to add the metal clasps and we're folding this bag flap. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna cut a pretty long tail. Make sure that it's really long so that you can use it to sew. We're going to take two of these flat um, metal parts and then one of each magnetic side. Make sure you are facing the front of the bag and then hold your bag flap like so. Take one of the magnetic portions and then go up about three rows. Look for the center and then you can position your magnet there. Flip the flap and then you can use one of the flat metal pieces to secure this magnet. You can use pliers or whatever tools you have, but right now I'm just using my fingers. So this is what it should look like. And then we're going to fold this flap like so, leaving about one row of half double crochets at the top, right there. And then this, I'm just demonstrating how it's supposed to close. Taking the long tail that we have, we're going to use it to sew this part shut. I've finished sewing it and this is what it should look like. Make sure it looks clean and that you have weaved in all of your tails. To attach the second part of the clasp, you're going to close the bag and look for the point in which the other metal clasp touches. And that's where you're going to put the opposite magnet. Same thing as before, use the flat metal piece in order to secure this part and then use whatever tools you have. And that is how it should open and close. Now for the fun but also kind of frustrating part, we're going to make the ribbon for the straps. I started by just tying a knot. Adjust it to whatever height or length you want your strap to be. Then you're just going to tie them the way that you tie your own shoelaces. This is how I do it. I take the right side first and wrap the left around it and then pull out the loop. And of course, 
this is gonna look really messy before it looks pretty so be patient it's gonna take a few tries but you're gonna get it and what i try to do is the tails of the ribbon should be at the front and at the bottom of the knot itself so that it doesn't look too messy so take your time and eventually it's gonna look like this so then this brings us to the end of the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching and i hope that this was easy to follow easy enough for you to create if you do make this bag i would love to see your work so please tag me on instagram at artisan gc thanks again for watching and see you in the